What's going on people, this is Peter the Warner Brothers Universal and Paramount Fan 2002 here, and after all those long discussions, I'm officially back with another review, and on this episode of my TV show review series, I'll reviewing the 2015 to 2020 Warner Brothers animation series, and that is, New Looney Tunes, also known as Wobbit, a Looney Tunes production, in the USA, and in Bugs, a Looney Tunes production in some markets. Now, what do I think about this show? Wow, this show is like amazing, bringing back the good old friends in one show, and bringing back the masterpiece and wackiest adventures in one show. New Looney Tunes was originally aired on Cartoon Network, Boomerang, originally streamed on the Boomerang streaming app, and currently streaming on Max, originally known as HBO Max, Hulu, and it's beta on Disney+. Plus. Apple TV, and Amazon Prime Video. The show involves the same characters from the original Looney Tunes and Merry Melodies, except the Lola Bunny who appeared in 1996 Space Jam movie. First we have is Bugs Bunny himself. Bugs Bunny in this show is always funny and amazing rabbit. Especially he uses catchphrases, what's up doc, ain't I a stinker, etc. His design in this show looks awesome. Next we have is Daffy Duck. It brought back the Daffy Duck from 1930s and 1940s and his zany personality is still well done. He also gets his revenge on Bugs and they have better chemistry. Next we have his Porky Pig. In this show, Porky Pig finally returns to his fat pig design since 1937. In other Looney Tunes shows, Porky Pig was skinny, he was known for his that's all folks gag. Here we have Tweety Bird. Tweety has a cute character design in this show. Speaking about Lola Bunny in this show, she has an awesome design. Especially when she had her original voice back. She was first voiced by Kath Susie. In previous Looney Tunes show, Lola was voiced by Kristen Wiig. This is not the first time that Lola was voiced by a celebrity actor. Then, in Looney Tunes, Rabbits Run Direct-to-Video Movie, Lola was voiced by Rachel Ramirez who was the writer of the Looney Tunes show. Also, there are some new characters introduced for this series, including Squeaks the Squirrel, Bigfoot, Carly Grim Rabbit, King Th Yosemite Jack, Sir Little Chin and Tad Tucker. There are also are the good things of why this show was a great modern Looney Tunes series. It has a crazy and cartoony animation, that animation kinda reminds me of the animation style of the Loud House. Although The Loud House came in 2016, Pepe Tilda copyright the Pew's character design is fancier than his major character design. It is faithful to the classic Looney Tunes and Merry Melodies series. The show finally brought back Michigan J. Frog, who is retired as the official mascot of the WB television network after it shut it down in 2006. This show also brought back Gabby Goat who doesn't appear in most of the new Looney Tunes media. And what is my verdict on the Warner Brothers animation series? I'm giving it a 7.5 out of 10. This show was pretty well done and great modern Looney Tunes series. Mama, who's your brother?